What's going on there, folks? Good morning. It's the Earthmaster here on this Sunday, October 30th, 2022. It's about uh, 9.31 a.m. California time. Got Halloween coming in tomorrow. Looking forward to that. Taking the kids out uh, trick-or-treating, of course, like always. Uh, latest earthquake activity around the globe, a 4.7 over here in our cluster of earthquakes. Uh, we, we've been uh, kind of watching here over the last couple days. Been really ramping up across this region, a lot of fives, a lot of fours, and of course many other smaller magnitudes within this major cluster. And uh, it's pretty noticeable on the globe in terms of where all the pressure buildup is currently. Uh, actually kind of watching, uh, at least around the Pacific area, Got one spot right in here that we're watching uh, and also over here around the Nazca and the South America plate here. Got some activity kicking up along the South America region, including quite a few fours and fives and some threes in there as well. That uh, kind of kicking up pretty nicely uh, in that area over the last 24 hours. Also uh, a little bit of activity it looks like throughout the Middle America Trench. Go ahead and zoom over here real quick. And down off the coast of Panama, some movement kicking up, quite a few fours and some threes. West Coast, let's go ahead and check out the activity here on the USGS map. We've got one earthquake outside of Seattle up here. Uh, this earthquake coming in uh, just uh, about an hour or so ago into the uh, northern end, somewhat the northern end here of the Cascadia subduction zone. It's down there at about 30 kilometers deep for 2.1. Cascadia sits offshore here just a little bit off the coast of Washington and uh, of course 30 kilometers down there's just a little bit upstream from the trimmer that we normally see uh, kicking off around the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, trimmer last night was mostly confined here to this area uh, but down dip into the uh, about 35 45 kilometers deep. All right northern California got one earthquake uh, off the coast here. That one was coming in yesterday. As uh, far as new activity goes, let's see what we got. Southern California kind of lighting up here in the last hour. Uh, some movement it's well south here, almost close to the border uh, near the Pine Valley area of California, 0.9. Uh, a couple other regions that we're watching here, or at least little swarming areas that we're watching, was just off the Elsinore Fault System. We were kind of keeping an eye on this last night. Looks like that has come to a halt, though, as of 3 o'clock in the morning. A little bit of swarming uh, off of the Elsinore fault system. Also over here around the Brawley Seismic Zone, uh, picked up a little bit of activity overnight. Had a, uh, looks like a 1.3 just off the southern branch here of the San Andreas Fault. And uh, one little earthquake from yesterday near the Brawley, California area. We got one right smack dab here in this little uh, area. 1.7 off of this fault system. Looks like the Linwood Lockhart fault system or, or the Helendale South Lockhart uh, fault zone. Couple different segments here. Either way, a 1.7 kicking up here. Don't see too much activity entered in this area. Uh, it's away from the plate boundary and away from this Garlock fault zone. There is some uh, definitely some fault systems that are out here. Uh, but that could definitely be a sign of uh, stress within the region. Seeing that earthquake out there like that. Uh, Long Valley Super Volcano. Not a whole lot going on. A couple small earthquakes listed up here on the map. Nothing major. Uh, and into the Bay Area, most of this activity is from yesterday. Uh, if you look here, the last one was right around the Gilroy area with a 1.2 um, earthquake. That was about uh, almost 11 last night. Up here into the Clear Lake Volcanic Field. Looks like these guys are active somewhat today around the hydrothermal operations up here around Cobb Mountain. A couple small microquakes kicking off there. Not a whole lot through the center portion of the country. Uh, Oklahoma and Texas looks like they're a little bit of activity kind of ramping up today. Uh, some earthquake activity around Union City 2.0. That's just outside of the OKC area. And I believe this region is in our... Um, oil pumping operation areas looks like a couple of them out there at least uh, for that uh, earthquake a little separate swarm up around Enid and another one down here outside of the Davis or Katy Oklahoma area Let's see what we got uh, right up against the Arbuckle Mountains this kind of been kicking up here over the last couple days 
Now there is fault systems that do run through here, but I always like to check and see if maybe those uh, oil pumping operations out there uh, are kind of triggering some of those faults. Uh, looks like there's a couple out here within the vicinity. Those look like uh, kind of hard to tell. Doesn't look like a farmhouse out there. Uh, either way, yeah, definitely. Uh, well, this guy that actually looks like a little house right underneath that house. Um, so yeah, so a little bit of activity today in that region. Again, could be fault related, but also got to note the uh, oil pumping operations out there because sometimes they do induce, uh, you know, some earthquakes around some old fault systems. Out in Smiley, Texas, 3.6 and a 2.5. Let's see what we got out here. Ooh, man. You guys see all those specs? Let me zoom in a little bit here so you guys can see them a little bit in more detail. Yes, those are uh, oil pumping operations peppered across the Texas landscape. 3.6 and a 2.5 overnight. About three kilometers deep amongst the hundreds and upon thousands of oil pumping operations out there. One, earth, one earthquake out in Georgia. Let's see here. It's kind of an odd earthquake. 2.3. Haven't really seen anything out here recently. I'm um, not for sure what's out here besides all the uh, vegetation and the trees where it's green. I don't think we've had too much historical data out here or historical earthquake activity in this area. Looking at the map doesn't show anything about 4.0. Uh, historically and let's see what we got for the last week or so in this area oops clicked the wrong one where am I am I awake today yes I am somewhat 30 days of activity let's see what we got not a whole lot and we're up here around the Elgin South Carolina area um, and just outside of the Elgin region we have been seeing earthquake swarms uh, earlier this year, but it seems like the past two months or so, maybe past three months, it has been awfully quiet uh, in swarming activity around that region. It seems like it comes and goes. Right now, it's not very active in that area. But a uh, 2.3 out there in Georgia, I'm sure uh, just a little, little odd. As far as the U.S. hazard goes, it is kind of within that uh, fault zone uh, over here kind of puts it in a somewhat of a little hazard of uh, seismic risk so definitely some fault systems out there uh, let's see what else we got uh, South America region I believe looks like we had one more earthquake this morning uh, 4.6 kind of inland and down dip into the Peru, Peru Chile trench 145 kilometers deep for that 4.6 watching a pretty good cluster of earthquake movement as we noted there on the earthquake 3d program uh, for this area things are kind of look like they're working its way down south here a little bit towards Chile and uh, Definitely uh, could be a, a spot for some larger earthquake activity here soon with that type of setup Definitely uh, quite a bit over here around the Indonesia area Papua New Guinea as well All showing some obvious signs including another one that just popped up here uh, Looks like outside the band of sea 138 kilometers deep for this uh, earthquake here things kind of kicking up today uh see what we got for the uh, big island of hawaii let's close that out here let's see if we got any noticeable changes not a whole lot uh still just seeing a couple small earthquakes out here in the area although 13 earthquakes on the big island over the last 24 hours not that big of a deal only a couple this morning it looks like 2.4 the latest quake near pahala at 33.2 kilometers deep Still watching that though, pretty closely, Mauna Loa. Uh, the Alaska area, got a little activity again through the Cook Inlet. Our typical regions that see swarms and earthquake activity along this plate boundary. Not a whole lot of change or any significant movement. Uh, there's that little spot here along the Aleutian Trench we were watching yesterday. Looks like uh, haven't really seen anything overnight. Last earthquake was uh, yesterday afternoon, 3.3 for that area. Kurokamchaka Trench, the uh, quiet player right now, but obviously um, we've been talking about this for a little while. Uh, Japan Trench, Kurokamchaka Trench are possibly uh, producing a, a pretty good sized quake. 
slip rate is incredibly high along this area of the uh, Pacific Ring of Fire, and it's um, it's been a little while since we've seen any sufficient earthquake uh, activity here for the Kuril Kamchatka Trench. Uh, up around the India area and the Himalayas near uh, Nepal, that activity coming in yesterday. Uh, see if we got any recent movement. Looks like uh, a couple earthquakes there in Afghanistan. One over around the eastern India area. Afghanistan one up in the mountains, 168 kilometers deep. And over here around the Mediterranean, looks like we got one 4.2 around the Greece area. That one kicking off early this morning, about 1.49 a.m. My time. Let's see what we got for Yellowstone. Uh, yeah, Yellowstone's kind of kicking up again. We did have a little uh, day or so of somewhat quiet activity. It looks like that movement uh, starting to kick back up here overnight and this morning time frame. See these earthquakes on the map a little bit more active than it's been in the past couple days. So swarming it looks like uh, may continue here as we start off the new week. All right, solar weather activity. Course we start off the new week tomorrow. I'm not, not trying to cut anybody short a day of the weekend, that's for sure. I got a pretty busy day ahead planned for uh, for the weekend, for the Sunday. G1 storm. That uh, kind of kicked up overnight uh, up around the KP index of four, although things are starting to kind of calm down right now. Not seeing a whole lot of that activity ramping up as far as the auroras go. Uh, still expecting un unsettled conditions here over the next couple days it looks like so we could see that fluctuate a little bit here with the auroras from some high wind uh, from the coronal hole activity that we've seen current look at the sun here shows uh some sunspot activity of course around the northeastern side of the sun and uh, we do have a couple sunspots currently facing us that sad face we were looking at last night, still a little on the sad side. Um, has, hasn't really warped too much, but uh, you can still kind of see a visible face there on the sun. Sunspot activity. Let's go ahead and check out uh, this map right here. Get a little better look at the magnetic field and structure. Um, I still think um, potentially this guy right here has the greatest possibility of a flare. Or at least seen a flare and maybe possibly over here as well i'll watch that in the coming days as these uh pretty good uh sunspots i mean they're pretty large looking they're obviously uh sunspots but they're not super set up for any type of major flaring currently uh, again that could be uh, subject to change here as these things evolve and possibly progress into a little bit more complex magnetic fields and the structures but uh, for now I think they're somewhat stable but either way got a nice little train of activity coming around the bin pretty stable here across the solar x-ray chart not seeing anything too much uh, not seeing any popcorn up there no sizzling so to speak everything looks pretty stable little very small sea flare looks like uh, earlier this morning I see 1.3 woohoo but uh, other than that things are um, Kind of green here on the board. 50% chance of a C flare, 5% chance for an M flare, and uh, less than that for the other categories. We'll definitely watch it, uh, see uh, how it plays out. All right, folks, be prepared, stay safe out there. Uh, and again, I know the uh, the clusters here look pretty active uh, in certain regions. I know the USGS map doesn't show a lot of these. That's why I have the EMSC hooked up on here as well. And they're showing quite a few threes in the mix of these different locations of swarms. Uh, Middle America Trench def definitely has a lot of activity kicking up here. Um, and that's something to watch uh, throughout the day today. Hopefully, uh, hopefully one of these areas will, uh, I mean, it's just all kind of pinpointing to something a little much, a little bigger uh, coming in, I believe, any type of major cluster like that in a certain area 
definitely pinpointing to some heightened stress uh, amongst the plates out here so just be prepared and stay safe we'll definitely uh keep you guys posted should anything uh change out here have a good day folks we'll catch you guys a little bit later peace out